Welcome dear creatives. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a birdcage veil brim as a nato. So this is the part two. This is a continuation of the part one. So please, if you've not watched the part one, kindly go back and click on it and then you can come back to this so you can understand. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut off the inside after stitching it, just as you can see me doing already. I'll cut it gradually, carefully so that you know i'm de dealing with a net a veil a bird cage veil so <laughs> if you're not careful you can just um make a mistake and cut where you're not supposed to cut well it's out and I, you can see the way it came out this can actually serve as an embellishment okay which i will eventually be using yes so the next thing i'll do using my ribbon I will cover up the inside of my felt cap. Okay, feel free to use a bias, feel free to use your pizza sham, whichever one works for you. But I'll be using a ribbon in this case, and then I'm going to apply my glue and then I'll stick it on it and do it carefully so that I'll have a neat work at the end of the day. So keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Please remember to subscribe, like this video, share this video, comment. If you have any question, I'll try my best to answer. If you have a suggestion, please leave it in the comments box. Please share this video so it will get to a lot of people so that they will learn to, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to embellish my hatinator using this crinoline loop that I already attached my two-in-one rows on it. You can learn how to make a crinoline loop by clicking on the link showing on your screen right now. Although this particular crinoline loop, it's um the small size crinoline, the smallest size that I bought and I formed a loop from it. But click on the link and then learn how to make a loop from the large size if you do not want to use the small size. So now I'm going to use my needle and thread to just attach it on the crown of my hat in natal. Now I'm doing invisible stitches. You make sure that your stitches are very neat. You make sure they are invisible. You make sure they are firm so that your hat in natal will be very durable, okay? So this is what I'll do until I have a very firm stitch.
So now that I'm done, remember what we cut out from the inside. Now we're not going to waste it, we're recycling it. <laughs> so we use it to cover up that path that I stitched. Like I said, if you've watched the part one, I talked about um, using your glue to attach the parts of your of your veil net, the parts that they meet, you can use your glue. But I stitched mine because I knew I was going to cover it up with this, you know, to serve as an embellishment. So feel free to do whatever works for you. So far as it comes out, really beautiful. Is this one not so beautiful? <laughs> okay, so keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize. So basically, the next thing I'm going to do is to attach my Alice band.